Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. I'm Hubble Loo, and today we have Bloodstained Curse of the Moon from Limited Run Games, a Castlevania style game. And I'm really excited to get into this unboxing because they added a couple of NES editions into this collector's edition. But before we do, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and unboxings like this one. So let's get into it. So before we get into the box, I'm actually going to show you the limited run game cards that usually come with the game. I got two because I actually got two Curses of the Moon, um, but they're really cool looking cards. I love the art on them. You have that background castle. I'm pretty sure you fight in there. So on top of this cool looking box that it comes with, it also comes with a reversible 18 by 24 poster, a CD soundtrack, the actual silver box that comes on NES games on the outside, a retro, retro NES style sleeve that comes with the game, and a removable slip cover for the Nintendo Switch branding element. Um, we'll see what that is because I have no idea what it is, but we got the sleeve right here, guys. It's really nice. I like the art on the background, uh, but it matches the box, which I'm kind of disappointed in because now you just have two of the same pictures there. Um, and then on the back side, they have the same pictures as well. So that's a little bit of a disappointment instead of pictures on the back side with the characters just in game fighting because you can't even see that really. And then you got this big hunk of chunk of white space on that bottom area. Then you got the box that looks exactly like the sleeve. So you're kind of back and forth on that one. But the box and sleeve are really nice looking. Especially since that art from the front cover and that sheen is also added to the box too. Okay, now obviously I can't go from the bottom because this NES box always has that X on the bottom when they fold it up. So hopefully none of that breaks open on the top. There we go. We'll flip this over for you guys. Put the sword back right there. And we'll pull this out right now. You got the Switch game right there, the poster on top. And then that was about it. I think there's one more thing that came stuck in here. Yep, there you go, the CD soundtrack. So I'm gonna set all these guys up and then we'll get into it. So let's get into this poster first. It is a regular 18 by 24 poster. It does come from both sides, so I'm really excited about this. The, the thing that I see so far is really cool looking. I'm pretty sure it's the character we play as, um, but it takes up the whole poster, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, guys, this backside. You're gonna love this backside, though. Oh, this front side is actually really cool looking with all the characters. I don't know. This, this is a pretty cool looking poster, guys. I thought it was gonna be a little bit... Uh, uh, unforgiving, but uh, it really did come out very well. And on the backside, guys, it's probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, really bright purples and reds. It's very different than a lot of posters actually add color to. Um, but I do love this this side a lot more than the other side. It adds a little bit more vibrance, you can tell that. But this poster came out really well, guys. See, like, I wish they would have added uh, like different styles of art like this for the box because having two styles of uh, the same picture kind of get a little bit boring. Well, okay, that was a pretty awesome poster. Now we're gonna get into the CD soundtrack. Wow, guys, it does have 41 songs on here too. And the, uh, the art for it is the actual art card that we got from Limited Run Games on the front. And on the back side, it has this nice little accent of the castle, uh, but it has a lot of songs, so I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just saying that like, I'm really surprised that they wouldn't have done more for this game, for this uh, soundtrack, like add an, a nice foldable uh, cover case. So we're gonna open up, we're gonna pull out this CD. <laughs> so used to open it up. Ooh, guys, yes. I do love this art on the front of the CD. Really cool looking. I'm trying to figure out if it is anything else. But you see how they added different art style to it on all these different uh, covers. I wish they did it with the outside box. That would have been really cool, um, especially since they have a sleeve on top of that. But the CD soundtrack, really excited to get into it. So putting the CD down, we're going to show you this awesome Switch limited run game case that it comes with NES games usually, but limited run actually made this Switch edition. It's so cute, guys. It fits like right in your palm and it's got limited run on it and your Switch just fits right in there. I thought that was a really cool, neat addition that they did. A lot of people are asking about these too. So if you guys want more of those, I'm pretty sure they'll probably start selling them uh, singly, but we're all about this game. So let's get into it right now. Uh, the back side of this cover is very surprising, guys. Uh, there is no writing on the back. There's just all this art on the back, which I really, really like. I don't need writing on the back sometimes, especially if the art is like that. Uh, I really like it. And then the front cover is the same as the uh, art card that we got. Oh my gosh, guys, I just noticed that reflection of him in the pool is is really, really awesome. I'm really excited to get into the rest of this game. I'm pretty sure it came with a manual too, so I'm gonna open up this game for you guys right now. There you go. Ooh, that cover art on the inside, guys. Really cool looking. 
the same art as before, guys, on the backside. So a little bit disappointed. That takes the uh, the essence of this backside cover art away from me a little bit. But uh, I think I think it worked out really well. And then the cartridge is the nice little manual picture on the front. Really nice and full, nothing really uh, blown out or taking over in the cartridge. So I really like this game case. All right guys, well that was my unboxing for Bloodstained Curse of the Moon from Limited Run Games. It ran a price tag of $54.99, I'm pretty sure. I think it was worth it overall. It, it did have its ups and downs. The cover art was duplicated a little bit too much. It was on the card, on the inside manual, and on the cover art of the cartridge, or uh, yeah, and the cartridge and the uh, the case itself. Uh, surprisingly, the poster was the coolest thing I thought out of everything. They added different style art on the backside, which I really liked. Um, and then the CD itself, it also had 40 plus songs on it. So that was a really big difference uh, than most of the sound checks that I get. Uh, but the box had the same cover art as the sleeve, and I was kind of disappointed in that. But the glossiness on the box adds so much accent to it that it just creates its own different specialty. I did like the sleeve. It does have those glossiness accents, too. So it did come out pretty well, guys. What did you guys think about this? Did you get this collector's edition, or did you just buy it digitally or something like that? Um, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and unboxings just like this one. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hubbleubaloo for more updates and game reviews and pictures I post just for my collector's edition and the games I get. So I'll see you next time.